What is up guys, we are back some more next time on Extinction and we have a little cutscene after leaving the castle uh, for the psychic. Blades, what are you doing in a place like this? Hey Dina, do you know how to hatch a tyrant egg? What? <laughs> wow, we made her break character. Blades, raising a tyrant is a super serious crime. It should be obvious why. But we can use this tyrant. We can use it to defeat the other tyrants once and for all. That's exactly what renegades like Atlanta thought. They were guild tamers like you and me who sought to bring peace using those monstrosities. Brought by such power, they lost their way, and now we are stuck with half a dozen psychotic tyrants. We need to find an elemental shrine, Blades. Wait, you're gonna help us? I'd like to believe in you, but other guild members won't be keen to this venture, so keep your mouth shut. Yeah, I believe I believe it. Have you ever been to Ignitia? If my memory serves me correctly, there should be a shrine hidden over there. Oh, hidden, eh? Ignitia is an underground volcanic city that enters the middle of the desert. It's a long way from here. If you keep heading east, you'll probably be fine. Awesome, if we find that shrine, we can hatch this egg. It's a little more complicated. You'll see what I mean. Just be careful, Blades. If you have to tyrant, you'll make many enemies. Please think about it carefully. I must be on my way now. Best of luck in the desert. So my thing is what I'm thinking for uh, this tyrant. Since the tyrant egg showed like numerous uh, colors on it. And I'm just going to assume that... Dang, let me... What should I put up next though? Uh, I'm just going to assume that... You have to go to multiple shrines to get different elements. I guess we're making like the ultimate tyrant. So of course the tyrant of life should possibly have like all the different type of elements in it, you know? That's just a theory of mine. Uh, copies 8%. Yeah, no. Uh, there was supposed to be a way to now like unequip all the cores that you have on uh, some of these. I need to take this core off. Put it on Woozy. Cause I don't, I don't know how often I'd be fighting with Woozy like that. But Woozy's good to have on the team just till then. Alright, so we're gonna head east. Finally. Well, I think we're going the right way. Let me heal up. Bada bam! Oh, I actually didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Follow curse. I totally forgot, normal is weak against ghost. And I don't remember what's good against- oh, fire is good against ghost. Dang, I don't know why I declare. Boom, Dinja leveled up, because Dinja deals physical damage with a- Critical bite, huh? Yeah, we'll get rid of Scratch. I feel like Scratch isn't needed like that. Let me just heal up Dinja again, because Dinja took a lot from that. So I was doing a little bit of research too for the game, and it kind of seems like uh, Ultra Rare, of course, is going to be good, but it was something that kind of jumped out at me was when I saw a lot of people saying online that a lot of times mega rares which are a lower rarity than ultra rare have better stats than uh the than the ultra rares so it's supposed to be like common uncommon rare mega rare ultra rare and then legendary for extinction 
Let me show you what a real threat is like. Okay, please do. And I will switch out again. I'm kind of glad I have Hideka up at like level 21, so when I do some of these swap outs, they're coming in clutch. There's another thing, a lot of people said that when a move is, is super effective against the enemy, like you're supposed to, you're supposed to get like green, a green color for like the words and stuff. And I don't see green at all popping up for me, so I don't know how much truth is actually in that. Deal ghost type damage with a 20% critical hit rate. Cost 10. Uh, we'll just get rid of Dark Flame. It does more damage than Dark Flame. Oh, you're not half bad, Blaze. You sure deserve that guild badge. Yes. Be careful around here, though. There are things that you should avoid. You'll see what I mean if you keep snooping around. Okay, whatever. Whatever that was supposed to mean. Guess we'll just keep going east. Okay. Quite the view. That horror was Chroma, the Abyssal. Abyssal Tyrant. It was Grandmaster Dina who took this one down before he could reach the Immortal Citadel and devour it. What's the point of defending that city? Their people are, well, you know. <laughs> Beats me. Dina always seemed oddly attached to that place. Okay. But we'll do a quick, uh... Heal up with Hideka. Kind of wondering, like... Is everybody over here going to have Ghost and Psychic? If we don't become stronger, a tyrant just like this one will wipe us all out in an instant. We can't rely on heroes like Dina and Andrews. Come on, let's train together. Okay. Only reason, like, I'm having Dinja out first, really, is just so I can get Dinja to, to evolve. Alright, Black Flame. Oh! Wow. This is fine with me. Hideka's out here one-shotting everybody. I parade. <laughs> I should have put, tried to put Leech on. Woozy leveled up. Okay, Woozy. Woozy's getting a good amount of EXP from this these fights. Paris is your miles ahead of me, Blades. You must continue growing in power. Remember that. Will you give me anything? It has seldom been the case when the guild shows signs of competence. To think that they defeated Chroma is truly baffling. Oh, so you're not too fond of the guild and the tamers. You found a... Oh, we got a new companion. That means we can put a new follower on. I like that. That's convenient that they give you one, like, so, I guess, early? Well, other than the one that I found elsewhere. Uh, did I not go the right way? Am I supposed to go in? No, you can't go in there. Let me just go back, because I think there was a downward path uh, that I could have took. Oh, uh, there's the guy that wants to battle, I think. Blades, Blades, look what I found. My very own Nexomon. Come on, show me how to fight. This will be so much fun. Oh, this is so nice. Seeing someone with their first Nexomon. Let's destroy him. <laughs> okay, Coco. I got you, bro. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty confident in Ninja. Well, I was until that. Oh, okay. That was nice, 109 XP. Uh, impossible, how can this be? This sucks, Nexomon suck, I hate this stuff. Take this reward for all your trouble. Why you gotta take it out on the next Oh, we got the EXP booster. Sweet. I'm going back to Elisa's Manor now. 
Ugh, Nexomon. I didn't go trash talk Nexomon like that just because you only had one. Uh, Alright, maybe we shouldn't have gone all out. At least we got some good stuff. We should do more quests. I like how Coco likes to tell us to keep doing quests and then also tries to suggest like what quests not to do. I'm trying to build a full team of ghost Nexomon. The simplest way is to get loads of ghost Nexo traps. If you have any spare, I can trade you my other elemental Nexo traps. What do you say? I'll give you four and I get one of each of those. Yeah, I want to get a mineral. A mineral uh, Nexomon on the team, right? No lie. Perfect, thank you. This is one step closer to my dream ghost team. I don't even care if it's unbalanced. It's all about the cool factor. I completely understand there. Uh, let's see. Trying to see, like, what's all down here if I wanted to... Okay, let me go to that treasure chest. Oh, wait, no, that's a ledge I have to jump down from. We're gonna fight, though. Are you trying to leave these woods? I'm afraid I can't let you do that. I made a deal with the talking tree. I must keep as many tamers trapped in here. Oh, so the talking tree is the one that uh, that we went and caught uh, some Nexomon for, actually, now that I think about it. And that's good information to know that he's trying to trap tamers here. I'm still going to give him like those two Nexomon just because I want those rewards from him. But, oh, we missed. That did a good amount. Ah. Uh, can we get a leech on? Nope, but we can definitely kill you before then. <laughs> Ninja, level 14. Rancho leveled up too, sweet. No, I can't let you leave. The talking tree won't fulfill my wishes if I don't uphold my part of the deal. Well, I'm, I'm leaving anyway. I wonder what deal she made. Can you, can you not jump down? What? What is this? Why can't I? Okay, I guess you can't jump down the ledges. Oh wait, I forgot to talk to that guy. <laughs> a creepy talking tree gave me some pretty good items. They're handy, but I fear that they may be cursed. You know what? I'm getting rid of them. I'm not asked for much in return, I promise. Do so you want perfect berry, secret sauce? I mean, I, I guess I'll give that stuff to you. You should run away if you ever meet that talking tree. He will offer you all sorts of treasures, but you must ignore him. Huh, why does everybody keep saying just ignore him? Exo trap, cool cool, we can heal up. What's up with the, I don't think I've been inside these before. Right. Okay, we just got stuff to get in here. Exo trap, cool. I'm gonna just talk to that girl over there, just because it kind of seems awkward that she's here. I thought all the greater drakes are owned by only one person. Her name is Lydia. Lydia. I can't imagine wielding so much power. Okay, that's good to know. Stone shard. Okay, so this is like a good spot to come to to like heal up so you can head back out here. I really can't believe we can't jump off this thing. That's so weird to me. What kind of what kind of ledge doesn't let you jump off it? And was there a downward path to go? Oh, a mega rare. The vet. Uh, I think normal's also weak against psychic. So let me swap out. We're gonna try to catch this one, actually. If I can hit. Dang it. Did a good amount of damage. Alright, so we're gonna see about feeding you. Oh, you like those? Okay, that's the only thing you like. 
we're gonna heal up and then uh, heal up and then catch it. I think I have an extra ghost trap. Yep. I keep pressing like the wrong one. I keep getting X and Y like switched up. Switched up, mixed up. I guess we'll just feed it again. Could be a pretty good idea. Alright. Let's see if we can catch you. Oh, that's why. It's not even ghost. Why did I throw a, a ghost one? It's psychic. I totally forgot. Ninety percent. So we should get this. I'm actually surprised we ran into a mega rare like right off the bat like that, coming in like this. Uh. It's like now I kind of don't want. Woozy on the team? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't I I think I'll just swap Woozy out. But you know what I'm going to need to do? I'm gonna to need to go back and get that uh core off of Woozy, I think. Unless they automatically take it off. Uh, I think they automatically took it off when I sent it to storage, possibly. So that's... That's pretty good. You're the only one that doesn't have a core on you. Actually, let's switch that around. You'll get the 8%, because I don't even think I'll keep you on the team like that. Yeah, we can go down there. Oh, okay. Actually looks pretty neat. Hey, look over there! That must be the path to the desert. The entrance to Ignitia has to be somewhere nearby. If we can find an elemental shrine there, we might be able to hatch our own tyrant egg. Did you know that the guild has a big outpost in the desert? We should check it out sometime. I did not know. But I definitely shall be checking. Oh, uh, well, what was up there? Nothing's up there? Okay. Let's see what we can fight in here. Oh, uh, it's just... Just more normals, huh? Okay, so like... Two or three more fights for Dinja, and Dinja should evolve. A Seatco. Okay. Took you out. Put out a little Croncho. Just because I know Croncho can put in- wow, you burned Croncho, just like that. Uh, this is faster, I think. Okay, that's faster than the other one. Oh, so close to getting Dinja leveled up. Oh, we can fight, so... Before that, again, we're just gonna put in some work real quick. Uh, 
Uh... Oh, put me earn out there. Oh! That did more than I was expecting it to do. Yep, there we go. Since they already told us like what levels that these Nexomon evolve at, I might as well just like take Dinja up. And we got a Dichala or Dichala. That looks pretty nice. And we can go back to focusing on Mern. And just cause we'll destroy that, get some health. Uh, battle this tamer. If well, we can't. Yeah, what the heck? Like they have like all these areas that we just really can't access. I work at the Guild's Research District. Our latest invention, the chorus, requires lots of elemental shards. Unfortunately, the best shards come from Lateria, and those fellows aren't very friendly. Oh, a guild tamer. I wouldn't spend much time in the desert then. If a Lataria sees you, they'll go nuts. Don't know what their problem with the guild is. Okay, so we got we got beef with some people. There's nothing to interact with over here. Okay, now we're in the desert. But before we get too far in with this, guys, I'm gonna end this episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot, and also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp, guys. Later.